Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we will be moving on with the topic that is Echinodermita. In the previous video we had done the Echinodermita general characteristics, right? Now we are moving on to Echinodermita's physiology. Very very easy, very simple. No need to take tension, no need to take stress. Okay? So no stress, nothing, we will just move on with our next topic that is our physiology. Sequence remains the same, right? Sequence will always remain the same. You have to learn it by heart. First one is digestion. So the digestive system here is complete. In the previous video, I told you they have tube within tube. That means they have a mouth also, they have an anus also. If mouth and anus both are present, that means the digestive system will always be complete. Fine? Now in this body, what is our body? Mein kya we stand like this. They are like this, okay? So the mouth is on the lower portion, that is the ventral side, okay? And anus is on the upper side, that is the dorsal side. All the things are mentioned on the board, make sure you are taking up the notes. Then digestion is extracellular. Let me get the right marker, okay? So complete mouth is on the lower side, that is also the, called the ventral side. Anus is in the upper side, that is also called as the dorsal side and they have extracellular digestion fine then a new thing a special feature which is in respiration beta in respiration what is happening tube feet are present so tube feet are mainly responsible for their respiration and where is this tube feet present beta tube feet i will draw the diagram just wait okay i'll just draw it Okay, so tube feet is a part of a water vascular system. Now, can you remember anything from this water vascular system? In the very first phylum, Porifera, I told you that there is a water canal system. Do you guys remember? Yes, of course, it was very simple, right? Water canal system. Here, what we are having in Echinodermata beta, we are having a water vascular system. Okay, so the water vascular system is also helping in the process of respiration, excretion. <coughs> okay, so in echinodermata, beta, excretory system is completely absent. So if excretory system is completely absent, beta, who is performing the function of excretion? It is again water vascular system. Fine. So, water vascular system here is doing three functions that is respiration, circulation and excretion. They are all done by water vascular system. Also beta, water vascular system is responsible for locomotion. Now, I will ask you one question very simple. What was the major point of difference between the water canal system and a water vascular system? This we have discussed in the first phylum porifera. So water canal system which was present there, it was also helping in reproduction. Okay, by the transfer of gametes through the flow of water only. That was being done there. Fine, in, in case of water canal system. Now if we are talking about the water vascular system beta. The water vascular system is what? Is also helping in locomotion, but it is not helping in reproduction. Very, very important point. Mark it up. Ye reproduction may bilkul help nahi karega. Which one? The water vascular system is not helping in reproduction at all. Rather, it is performing the function of locomotion along with respiration, excretion and circulation. Fine, but if I talk about water canal system beta, it is performing the function of reproduction, but it is not performing the function of locomotion. Very, very important thing from me point of view. Any question can come through this. Okay, so make sure you are noting it down. Fine, so next circulatory system is open, then excretory system is absent. Again, it is done by water vascular system, I have already discussed. Fine. The nervous system beta is simple, very simple again, but they are having no brain, right? Like some of our friends, some of our relatives, some of the people we know, you know that they do not have any brain, they are brainless, 
right? In the similar manner, here also echinoderms, but they are brainless. They do not have any brain. Okay, they do not have any brain. Keep that in mind. Right? Then sensory structure again, statocyst again, we have done this so many times that this is used as a balancing organ, balancing structure. Then locomotion, again I have told you that it is done by water vascular system. Then reproduction beta, it can be unisexual and also sexual reproduction takes place. So beta, these three are exclusive features for echinoderms only. I am putting a star and I am writing exclusive features. Exclusive features. That means the reproduction is unisexual and sexual reproduction takes place. Fertilization is external and development is indirect. So they do not have a direct also, indirect also, unisexual also, bisexual also, no. They have a single single category to each subheading. Fine, that means reproduction is unisexual, sexual reproduction can also take place, fertilization is external, development is indirect. Fine, so this is all. Now I will just erase these points and I will draw a diagram of water vascular system here. Okay, so... You can also draw it alongside me, okay? This will give you a practice only, right? No harm. Practice will be done, right? Okay, so let's get started with the diagram, beta. It is very, very simple. First of all, we need to draw a hexagon. Okay? Then again, like this. Very simple. Okay, fine, like this structure you can draw quickly. Fine. So this one which we have drawn better, this is like a ring. Okay, so this will be known as the, this portion, this portion is known as ring canal. This is known as the ring canal. Fine, this is known as the ring canal. There is a structure here, beta, a sieve like structure which is known as the madriporite. Madriporite. So, madriporite's function is beta, it acts like a sieve. Okay, it always acts like a sieve. That means, what is it doing? All the water which is coming in, it's filtering it and then letting the water go inside the ring canal. Very simple, right? Then after the ring canal beta, these symmetrical structures which we have drawn. Okay, I have told you this is the madriporite, right? This is the ring canal. Then what are these? These are the radial canal. These are the radial canals. Okay, ring canal, radial canal, madriporite. Now these radial canals beta, they also have further canals. What are these? These are lateral canals beta. These are what? The lateral canals. Okay, so I am labeling this. These are the lateral canals. So these lateral canals beta, these have what? They have attached two feet. These structures, balloon like structures, these are what beta? These are tube feet. These structures are tube feet. Fine, so these type of structures are present in every radial canal. So after every, in every radial canal, there will be beta lateral canals and through those lateral canals, these tube feet are there. Okay, these are the lateral canals. Har kisi mein yahi yoga beta. Okay. So the flow of water will be through madriporite. From madriporite it will go to the ring canal. From ring canal it will go to the radial canal. From radial canal it will go to the lateral canal. 
from lateral canal it will go to the tube feet okay so these this is the water vascular system now come to the example beta so asterias okay this is the starfish antidon sea lily cucumeria sea cucumber ophiuria brittle star and echinus is the sea urchin okay so these are all examples of your echinodermata the sea star the sea urchins right the uh, very very simple simple examples i have given you okay brittle star sea cucumber very simple okay so you can see them from your ncert very very easy very simple fine any problem you can put down in the comment section beta i'll be happy to help okay in the next video we we'll move on to the next phylum that is hemichordata okay so make sure you are liking sharing and subscribing to my channel clicking the bell icon right i hope you guys are doing that and if you're not do that now right so i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care